guys, it's the second day of our GoPro road trip. We've just left the campsite and we are gonna stock up some supplies. So we've just arrived at Walmart. Um, we need some new blankets and snacks and things like that. So on the drive yesterday, twice, I put something down by the window in the front, by the driver's seat, and it flew out the window. I felt really bad because it was littering. It was only um, an empty coffee cup and then a plastic water bottle. But because of that, um, I've decided we need cup holders. We actually, we, we've known we need cup holders in the front for a while, so we're just gonna screw this onto the front thing and then we can place our cups in there. How's this gonna work? Oh, these look, these look handy as well. Although, it's not very secure, I guess. All right, next up, just get some ratchet straps to hold some things down. Toilet treatment stuff. So. I am so useless in the morning before I've had my coffee, guys. I'm wandering around and JP's like, what are you looking yeah. for? I was like, I don't even know. I found coffee. I just need it now though. Guys, look how American these sandwiches are. They're literally like two feet long. <laughs> Imagine just having that for lunch. An entire baguette. Right, we have blankets, chips, hummus, blueberries, and Red Bull in case we get really tired. Louis is busy putting the strap on the tank. It's been bulging out. <laughs> Next stop, coffee. I love these mountains, guys. Check this out. So for those of you that missed yesterday's vlog, last night we stayed in Utah Lake State Park and today we are driving to Moab and then we're camping out in Moab. And I think it's gonna be pretty stunning. No way, they spelt my name right. Bro, I was like gonna bet money. Not only did they spell it right, she then pronounced it right from that correct spelling. Guys, this is how you spell my name, not with an E, okay? And then you don't pronounce it Lewis either. So an important part of road tripping is getting those really cool time lapses of the road as we're driving. The only problem is we haven't washed our windscreen for a little while, so just in front of the GoPro here where it's mounted, it's very dusty, so... I've got a wet wipe. Made it to where we're gonna stay tonight. It's looking pretty freaking amazing. We're in Arches National Park. That's the Colorado River right there. Look at it. If only we could fly a drone. Yeah. Legally. We have arrived at Goose Island Campgrounds. That's the name of this place. Oh, it is a warm, warm day, guys. No complaints from me. This is glorious weather. And we've reunited with the rest of the squad who kind of abandoned us this morning. They kind of drove ahead. I was saying we should drive in convoy and they just disappeared. I think tomorrow we're gonna try and stick together. Yes, bro. You made it. Okay, the girls have jumped in with us. Woo! Okay, okay. Um, 
We are driving down the road now and we're going for a hike. Maybe a sunset hike. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, everything's breaking. The sunset's pretty late here, which is cool. Um, yeah, I didn't really drive through the table. Everything's falling over. struggle to park there. Yeah. Oh. And where are you going to turn around? Where are you going to stop? <laughs> this is uh, not... You're going to have to park in the disabled and reverse your ass back into one of those things. Yeah. We have a slight problem guys. We didn't realise how small the car park was so the bus does not fit in the car park. Oh wait, maybe we can park over there. <laughs> Look at this photo JP with that cliff behind it. What have you found? I don't know. Where are you going, buddy? Is he trying to evolve into like a. Yeah. He is. Kind of overwhelming being surrounded by these like epic massive rock features like just towering cliffs either side of us getting that karma action get it <laughs> So this height, we were supposed to be finding like an arch, but we've decided it's probably a little bit too far to go to the end of the hike to where the arch is. Also, apparently from talking to some of the other hikers, the water level's a bit too low to go swimming. So, we might turn back and head back to the campsite soon. Before we do though, I just want to run up onto the top of that ledge and have a little look. Wow. Look how, this looks like it was a uh, molten lava. Check that out, it looks so volcanic. This is a pretty sketchy ledge, check this out. Just walking down to meet the others. I think I found a dry riverbed. This looks like a little stream sometimes runs down here. So for the last month or so, I've been carrying around this life straw water bottle. I got it just before I went to the Africa burning near Cape Town. Anyway, I've just been filling it up from like the tap. Like I haven't actually tested it by filling it up with fresh water from like a river or something. This is the first real life test. So I'm pretty thirsty and I ran out of water. So this is legit. Right, fill that boy, the bad boy out. Oh, that already looks pretty clean to be honest. All right, and then we just slip that straw back in. Oh, that tastes fresh. I'd love to go on like a survival course that teaches you how to like eat wild plants. Cause I'm like here and I'm like, we got stranded out here for some reason. I mean, we've got water. That'll be good for keeping us hydrated. But in terms of like, eating things? I have no idea. Like, none of this looks edible to me. Maybe some berries? I don't know. Time to go for a little paddle in this waterfall. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. The light is so perfect right now. Just golden. 
I think we're going to try and find somewhere cool to watch the sunset if we can. Classic, classic. Classic Evans. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely missed the sunset, unfortunately. We just arrived at this restaurant that we're thinking of eating at, but this yeah. area is not the best for vegan food. Might be slim yeah, to yeah. Slim Let's to have a, we're gonna have a little look at the menu. All right, food is served. I got a vegetable loaf. Check that out. Okay, we've strapped the generator to the back of the bus. We just need to go and fuel it up, and then laptop club. If you do it right. Oh yeah, having Oreos for dessert. This one goes out to Max Rand's McDonald's. O Oreos for the kids. <laughs> essential to every road trip. Well, it's been a great day. Such an incredible hike earlier with beautiful scenery, which we're going to see some more of tomorrow. We're actually getting up super early, and we are going to a state park nearby to see the sunrise. I'll catch you in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Thing.